Hi guys, Todd here. Happy Saturday, or whatever day it is when you watch this. Today I'm going to be having a look at a couple of SVBs, uh, Soul Vapor Babies, uh, made by Nige, Nigel. And you will find these, well, all the links will be in the description. You can go along to his Facebook page or you can go along to UK Vapors. There is a an old, old thread on there that's uh, some old size. Does it actually say when this was created, this thread? 10th of the 10th, 2013. Right, that's when this thread started off and it's still going on. It's Obviously it's updated with all the latest information. Now, uh, at this moment in time, uh, what you can get, well, this is, this is one of his latest ones. Uh, this is a, a DNA 40. 18650 inside there and uh, I'll show you that and and this is I got this free um, this one I traded for which made me want to go and get one of these um, but uh, so this one I traded for now before I get going and I've, I've covered this in my vlog and so on I mean I know Safer Vapors uh, did reviews back in these back in the day um, and I'll Hold my hand up, didn't like them, didn't like them, and I will say to you at this point, even if you're looking at these and going, Ugh. don't, just don't, until, I'll post up photos of various ones uh, at some point in this review or discussion, and, and let you see some of the different finishes, but it's not until you're actually... You know how some cars look really, really terrible in photos and then you see them on the road or in the metal and they look great? Well, this is kind of what's happened with me with these. That's, that's, there's a guy that comes into the shop called Graham and uh, he came in with one of these little guys and uh, I was kind of smitten at that point. Uh, so that's how I ended up getting a hold of one of them. DNA 31, this one. Right, anyway, uh, prices. Now, prices that you're looking at just now, as of today when I record this. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Right. A DNA 30 without battery is £167. An SX60 watt without battery is £170. That's delivered in the UK for both. The DNA 40 without battery is £170 delivered in the UK. The Stormtrooper, which is in white, it's lovely, uh, an SX or DNA 40 is £200. It's kind of a limited thing. Um, and there's loads, he does uh, repairs and upgrades on old models. Uh, you can choose the layout. I mean, do you want the firing button here, here, here? You can customise it. Um, basically, he takes a bog standard box and, uh, well, Here's some photos uh, coming up about the screen here just now and exactly what he does when he gets a hold of a box. Um, so he just, he cuts it up to bits. Uh, that's about as much as far as my technical information goes, but uh, you can see from those pictures there what happens. And I'll tell you what, I'll put up some more pictures just now of, you know, some of the latest ones that he has been doing. Uh, and, and hopefully you get the gist from the photos that they do look absolutely stunning. Really nice. Right, I think we shall go for some close-ups. Now, I'm going to show you one of the original ones. Now, I just want to point out, the reason I'm showing you the original one, this is an old one. I mean, this is, you, I, I really just want to show you the difference and machine. I mean, the guy makes them himself, okay? Uh, well, how he's improved, Nigel's improved in his modding and, and what you're actually getting inside. So I'm going to show you an, an older one and a newer one. Uh, but just remember that the old one was at the start of his game uh, and the DNA 40 is where he is now. But we'll go in for some close-ups. So here we go. Uh, a couple of old school... Uh, SVB mods, a DNA 30 and a DNA 40. This one was built, I have no idea when this was built, I really don't. But what I will say is that, this, well, to me the standard of 
wiring and layout and fitting and so on between the two it is this is miles better I, I see this is if I can I mean I'm dabbling with mod making just now and if I can get to, to that standard then I will be very happy you can see with this one you do have a removable 18650 battery and it is sitting in a sled there um, whereas this one the battery is soldered on so you know if you want to You'd have to know what you were doing or send this back to Nigel himself uh, to you know get the battery changed out on this one so it's all USB charging via the bottom with this guy and you do have a light there as well so that's that so what I'll do is that's it was just to show you that the gubbins inside and what I'll do is I'll screw this back together this is, is it's got my name on it um, I don't know if that refers to the name of the mod or whether it's just inferring that I'm old. Um, I don't know. I'm just going to pop that back on there. I'll screw these back together and then we'll come back to this. Now, I'll, I'll just finish off showing you the old one. I mean, let's say this is one of it, his, his old ones, uh, the DNA 30. And yes, it is held on by the four screws there. So it doesn't really matter because you can't change the batteries out. But... Uh, you know, you do charge via the USB charge point there. Uh, we have our firing button here. And just your standard DNA 30 board going on in there. And a little 510, which is sprung loaded, and I have no issues getting anything on there. I would say if you could pick one of these up second hand, little DNA 31, then uh, yeah, it's a great wee bit of kit. And uh, yeah. Not bad at all. This is one of his new ones. Um, I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but when the, the light hits this one, the finish just seems to be a lot better than the newer one. Uh, a hell of a lot better. Uh, there is actually almost like a sparkle running through this as well. And, you know, this is the old school finish, and you would have seen the photos for all the other finishes. Uh, DNA 40. We've got our up and down buttons here, USB charge point here, which I must have, I mean, I'm next to a micro USB charge point all day long, so it's not an issue for me. Uh, yeah, for some people, they might not like the screws on the back. Would I have preferred magnets in the back? Yes, I would. I would like to see one with magnets, a magnetic cover in the back. But for me, it is not an issue because I'm just charging via here all the time nice little switch and once again sprung loaded 510 up the top there and that's that for the new ones and just to give you a size comparison there it is next to a, a vapor flask and it is next to a, a nice thick 50 watt and last but not least somebody's really dodgy and badly made bob mod now I'm using the DNA 40 just now with a, a Manta and I'm running at uh, 410 Fahrenheit and 23 watts I don't have a single issue to pass on to you about this uh, at not a one uh, I, I am. <laughs> I'll be completely like this. Just baffles me. This is this is one of these mods that just baffles me because going on what I normally like and what I keep or collect for myself, there is no gap. There is no space anywhere. This shouldn't fit in with what I like. And that's why I always dismissed it when I saw the photos uh, or other reviews of it. But there is something awfully nice about this. I don't know what it is. Uh, there is something really nice about this. I, like, I mean, Nigel builds all these himself. You know, they're, they're not mass produced. Uh, I mean, that's his, what, I think he's up to, I don't know, 264 he's made in a couple of years. Um, 
just looking at the list here, well, that's what I see anyway. And there's red dwarfs, there's triggers left, burnt. Go to the UK Vapors thread and you'll get all the information you need there. Even the old DNA 31, I, I've been using a lot and uh, I really like this thing. This is, uh, I'll do that tonight. I'll announce, I, I was giving this away on my Facebook page, so I'll announce the winner for this on Saturday night. Uh, so somebody's going to get this. Um, and, I, and I hope they love it as much as, as I have. Uh, it's a wee beauty. Anyway, the and the DNA 40, shall be staying with me. Uh, I can only suggest that you go along and watch, uh, I think there's uh, Damien uh, Old Safer Vapor videos, they'll be out there, you can go and watch them. I'm sure there's plenty of other reviews out there for the SVB and um, would I buy one? Would I? I mean I got that for free and I traded for the other one. Well, I can tell you right now that uh, I am on his Facebook page and I've got my notifications switched on because I am going to be buying a Stormtrooper, one of the white ones, because uh, it's absolutely beautiful. Um, so, I don't know if that would help with your decision on whether or not you would purchase one, but uh, I've got one and I'm going to buy another. There you go. Thank you to Nigel for uh, sending me this DNA 40 on, which I did get free, uh, like point that out. Uh, yeah, gush fest over. Guys, don't forget to check the YouTube description for links, and uh, that is it from me. We'll catch you next time. Cheers now. Bye.